New at 6, preparing for the spring break rush amid coronavirus concerns. The reason some say the virus could end up bringing more people to our beaches. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newland. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Let's get you up to speed on the newest coronavirus headlines coming out of Florida right now. Governor Ron DeSantis revealed today another Florida resident has tested positive for the disease, but that person is in isolation in Washington State right now. We're told the individual was recently traveling to Asia where the coronavirus cases have been high. At this point, the Centers for Disease Control has officially confirmed two Florida cases. A third person with a presumptive case is also under isolation. In Hillsborough County, the health department is telling county officials the coronavirus risk is low, though it has the potential to become a significant public health threat. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull shows us the key impacts for all of us. Tonight, the Hillsborough County Health Department is giving credit to a patient who tested positive, saying she's been extremely cooperative and taken every step she can. Here are the big takeaways from the meeting. The health department tells county officials there are 11 people tested. Of those, one is positive, one is presumptive positive, five are negative, and four are still pending. They're also keeping an eye on close contacts. The director of the county health department says they are continuing to monitor returning travelers and that people returning should be mindful about what they may have been exposed to. The director says testing is a challenge as the supply hasn't met the demand. Be concerned, but don't panic. Uh, continue on with with what your life and your your daily activities. Um, but please, please do the um, advice that we have all given about avo avoiding influenza. The director says they're also sharing their experience with other counties. In Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.